So I wanted to do a quick follow-up to my drone finger injury video. In the conversation below that video, Magnus Person was kind enough to recommend a set of leg extenders for the Mavic that would allow me to hand catch and hand launch it a little bit easier keeping my fingers away from the propellers. So I went and did some research and I wound up getting, I don't know if it was exactly the same ones, but they looked almost exactly like the ones that he recommended. And what they are are 3D printed pieces that can be added to the two legs in the front and then one that can be clipped in place in the back. So what I like about the back one is that now I'm able to launch and catch the Mavic while keeping my hands away from those spinning propellers. Now, on our recent trip to Norway, I wound up flying the Mavic about four or five times a day, always away from people. And in most places we stopped, it was mostly deserted. So it was really nice to be able to fly the Mavic have no people around, and then just have beautiful scenery to capture. For most of those flights, I was able to launch and land safely on the ground, but for those times that I couldn't, I've been using this tab since that last video, and it was fantastic. Now, one evening, Lars was kind enough to take us out on his boat, and I flew it twice uh, as we were exploring the location, and uh, he was showing us around, and I think that was the closest I've ever gotten to thinking I might actually lose the drone on this flight, but I have to say a huge part of not losing the drone was Lars being skilled enough with his boat to keep it steady while I was launching and catching. So I'll be adding a link below to these extenders. Once again, I don't recommend hand catching or launching because I have gotten hurt. I've gotten many messages of people getting hurt, but there's been many times that I have no other option. If I want to get that footage, I need to go for a hand launch and catch. And this extender has been super helpful with that. Another update I want to talk about because I've gotten a lot of questions on it is this plastic tab that I've been using to keep my joysticks in place whenever I travel with the controller. I know a lot of people think that the joysticks are strong enough to just be sitting in a bag. I agree, I think they are pretty strong. However, they are very delicate and when I pack my bag, a lot of times I pack it very, very tight. And so I just feel better knowing that they're being held in place. But the main reason I got it is if I'm flying this from my kayak and I have the drone up in the air and I wanna put the remote away so that it can follow us as we paddle, I don't want there to be any chance that this might knock around while I put it in my deck bag or in one of the hatches. But if I put this on, I feel like probably the joysticks will not be moved while I paddle away and I can get a couple of the shots that I'm looking for. So I hope that was helpful. I'm slowly making my way through all of the footage of my recent trips while we're putting those videos out as soon as I can. Subscribe if you like, and as always, look for Guy Hipster. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.